This is an exclusive session. The announcements are done, right? So announcement ho chuki hai, exams ka pata chal gaya hai, exam date aa gayi hai aur ab hume target karna hai December ke exam ko. 143 students already hai, lekin likes are 47 hai. मेरे बाकी के 100 दोस्त कहां पे हैं सो बाकी के 100 दोस्त जल्दी से वीडियो को लाइक कर दो आज का वीडियो आपके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है टुडेस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू व्हाई बिकॉज़ द नेक्स्ट 3 मंथ्स द मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर नवंबर हाफ ऑफ दिसंबर राइट आज जो हम करेंगे वीडियो में वो आपका टाइम टेबल स्ट्रेटजी दैट विल बी डिसाइडेड बाय द वीडियो सो ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर हियर once again i wish you all a very happy good evening today a beautiful weekend aur mere jitne bhi dost hain jo alag alag state se hain sabko namaste sabko sat shri akal assalam alaikum wanakam and all in different different languages for my gujarati students came to okay so and one more thing in this special video to talk about syllabus i'm going to use my own notes i can tell everything about syllabus main syllabus ke bare mein sab kuch bata sakta hu lekin ab main yahan se bataunga यहां से क्यों बताऊंगा बिकॉज दिस विल एक्चुअली टेल यू व्हाट शुड यू रीड आपको क्या पढ़ना है अ सिंपल रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू टेक पेन एंड पेपर पेन पेपर ले लो मेरे दोस्तों नाउ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू अटेम्प्ट द नेट एग्जाम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो आप अपना नाम लिख के भेज सकते हो इट यू कैन राइट लाइक दिस इट्स मी 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 ओके सो कितने लोग नेट एग्जाम पहली बार देंगे I will be bilingual Lavanya. I will be in English. I will be in Hindi because I have crowd from both of the states. So I can see many of you are typing this thing that okay, it's me, my first exam, my first ever exam. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, let's wait for more students and keep liking also. Three hundred students are live. Great. so up no i can see approx 100 plus students are going to attempt this exam for first time wish you best of luck with the jrf aap pehli bar exam denge upar wala kare you get a jrf right abhi live bhi 350 ho gaye hain so now there is another question another question so all those who have written another question is how many of you are going to attempt this exam you already have given 3 4 5 exams इससे पहले वो कितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं जिन्होंने चार पांच एग्जाम दिए दैट इज लाइक वन ऑफ द फिफ्थ अटेम्प्ट सिक्स्थ अटेम्प्ट सो प्लीज टेल मी दैट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गोइंग टू अटेम्प्ट दिस एग्जाम ऑफ यू विद मेनी अदर एग्जाम्स आई रिमेंबर सम ऑफ द नेम्स सेकंड अटेम्प्ट फोर्थ अटेम्प्ट गुड ओके सेवेंथ अटेम्प्ट नो प्रॉब्लम डोंट वरी इट्स ऑल अबाउट लर्निंग इट्स ऑल अबाउट लर्निंग डोंट वरी थर्ड One of you is sixty year old lady, ma'am. Accept my greetings. You deserve my respect and regards. At the age of sixty, if you are attempting this exam, just amazing. I would love to talk to you. Ah, uh, don't forget to drop me a message on double eight one zero two eight nine six three seven. I will call you. I will talk to you, and I will see if I can help you. Sixth attempt, fine. Okay. third attempt sixth attempt so now okay so let's talk about syllabus because now i'm going to talk about syllabus and i will keep this thing in mind that we have two types of student fresh students going to appear for the first time the students who already have done uh, their preparations they already have given again attempt again and again and one more question one last question because see i am not an uh, ordinary uh, expert that okay i teach same thing to everyone every student has a different condition somebody is from a small town with hindi medium background somebody has never seen teachers in english somebody comes from delhi university jnu top gold medalist background right so i should know the difference we have students who are going to attempt for the first time we have student who are going to attempt for the fifth sixth or seventh time right one more question how many of you are not my online student or offline student aap mein se kitne students mere online or offline class mein nahi hain i want to know so that i understand where you are lacking aapki kya kami reh rahi hai 
Afsar is 40 years. Afsar, we can talk. Next one. Okay. Because I can understand how many of you are not having the ideas or the content that we provide. Yeah, my Dubai journey was good. We will upload a video. So let's go and talk. Okay, we have talked about the basic things. Five minutes. Now I understand you. You understand me. Kavita ji has mentioned the age 55. Kavita ji, I will talk to you also. Uh, save my number double eight one zero two eight nine six three seven. From science background, fine. So guys. The first unit is British poetry, right? In this session, I will take proper time. I will make sure that after this session, you never need any sessions like this. Is ek session me aajum cheese clear karenge. First chapter hamare paas hai unit ka British poetry. Write it on your pen and uh, with pen and paper. So when we talk about British poetry, what should you actually read? And from where should you read? We will talk about this thing also. What to read and from where to read. The first thing, see, in British poetry, we must understand what is poetry and the history of poetry. So they are not only asking about poets and poetry. They can talk about Robert Browning. They will talk about Matthew Arnold. They will talk about African poetry also. But when they say British poetry, it has everything. First thing that you have to read is the first thing, history of poetry, how it all started. What was the first ever poetry? Then you have to go for second thing. The second thing is how many types of poetry are there? First one, history of poetry. For example, Chaucer is called the first poet. Chaucer has been called the father of English poetry by John Dryden. Matthew Arnold said that it is with him our real poetry was born, right? So technically when we say that Chaucer is the first poet, this knowledge is good knowledge, but again, not complete knowledge. Anglo section poetry was there. You must have heard when I teach in my classes, we talk about this pearl poetry, seafarer, wet set, then Robin Hood, tale of Robin Hood, Chevy Chase, Nut Brown's maid, and along with these things, the dream of the rude. These are the questions in exam. So first, please note it, <clears throat> note it clearly that when you read British poetry, you have to check the history of British poetry. History of British poetry, padna padega, check karna padega. Now, from where to read it? These kind of exceptional histories are not available in basic book. So my suggestion is use Google. In Google also go for Westerns, the foreigners. You can go for any website, any paper publication that is done by the Western authors. Means the authors who are from another country. In India, primarily. Before net, there was no need of competitive exams. So teachers have knowledge. I'm not saying they don't have knowledge. They have knowledge. But somewhere this is limited. And in you know this kind of exclusive preparation, you have to check Google. Simply type it on Google. History of poetry. You have two, three, four options, right? Go for at least two options. Check if the website is from Britain, Britannia website or something like that. Make sure that you check those things for authenticity. If you read it from two sides, you can relate. First of all, history of poetry, it's very, very important. So how the Anglo-Saxon poetry came, the difference between Anglo-Saxon poetry and Anglo-Norman poetry, then poetry was using deca-syllabic couplet style. They were also called prosy poetry. When Chaucer came, what was the idea of Chaucer's poetry? The first heroic couplet, the first close couplet, the first rhyme royal, the first uh, <clears throat> pastoral poetry, the first sonnet, the first romance, these kind of developments. You know, when you go for sonnets, Petrarchan sonnet, Shakespearean sonnet, Kirtle sonnet, even in Russian literature, Pushkin sonnet. So first of all, history of poetry. Then second thing, types of poetry. In types of poetry, many students don't read these things. You should know what is descriptive poetry, what is objective poetry, what is narrative poetry, what is confessional poetry. So descriptive, narrative, subjective, objective, confessional poetry. Do you know this thing that the romantic poetry is called subjective poetry? It was a question of net exam that in Wordsworth Coleridge Saude, K. 
Keats, Byron and Shelley. What is the difference? We have 400 students live, only 200 likes. So I'm going to answer this. Wordsworth, Coleridge, Saude, Shelley, Keats, Byron. What's the difference? So if you love this knowledge, like it. Wordsworth, Coleridge, Saude are first generation poet, subjective poet. Keats, Shelley, Byron are called second generation poet, highly subjective. This was the tough question. Wordsworth and the other ones, team one, team two, team one, team two. Which group is highly subjective? Please remember this thing. Keats, Shelley, Byron are more subjective. Where are the songs of spring? Where are them? Think not of them. Thou has thy music too. Thou still unravished bride of quietness. Oh, lift me as a wave, a leaf, a cloud. I have fallen upon the thorns of life. I bleed. These kind of subjective notes. If winter comes, can spring be far behind? So when you read what is narrative poetry, <clears throat> in narrative poetry, we have ballad style. You know, Robert Browning has written many narrative poetry. Tennyson has written many narrative poetry. Matthew Arnold has written multiple narrative poetries. So you should know you are going to qualify the exam. I'm 10 times qualified. So just ask yourself that do you actually know the difference? What is narrative poetry? What is descriptive poetry? What is subjective poetry? What is objective poetry? If you don't know that, please do Google. Google has everything. Google pe answer milega. Compare it. Okay. Don't rely upon any reading from one source. Ek jagah se padke trust nahi karna hai. Do jagah se compare karo. One article, another article. Once you're done with these things, go for confessional poetry. Once you're done with confessional poetry, then we have advanced level poetry. Olipo poetry, nonsense verse, performance poetry. You have to go for these things. Then comes the poets. So history of poetry. What is poetry? The important types of poetry. What is ode? What is lyric? What is... <clears throat> mock heroic style, what is couplet style, what is close couplet style. The, here you have to go for rhetorics and prosody. You have to understand that there are multiple types of odes. Do you know that we have Horatian ode, we have Pindaric odes. So what is Pindaric ode? What is Horatian ode? Pindaric ode was used by Abraham Cowley. Then after Abraham Cowley, only Thomas Gray used it in progress of poesy and the bard. So history of poetry, types of poetry and then rhetoric and prosody related to poetry. You should know what is the last line. The last line of Spenserian stanza has been called Alexandrine. Alexander Pope called the same line serpentine. Watch this video again. Write down all these things. But this is what I'm telling you. You have to read like this. Then the third thing. Now you have to read poets. So when you have to read poets, it's easy. It's not that tough. In Anglo sections, check what are the most important poets. So you will see that there are writers which are not clear, but there are books. Question in exam was asked in Dream of the Rood, what is Rood? You can Google it. In Dream of the Rood, what is Rood? It will be a net question. You will get the PDFs. Then another question why the Rood is crying? So this question comes from Anglo section poetry from Battle of Malden, that question have been asked. So from Anglo section, see my online students are answering, read the comments, they're answering cross, cross, cross. They have been taught this. Then go for multiple types of poetry, their stories, what is seafarer, what is Chevy Chase. Then you go for next age because in Anglo section age, you don't have to read a lot of things. I have seen, many students are reading Anglo sections like this. Because somebody said, read Anglo sections. No, not everything. Hardly 10 facts. More than 10 facts are not required. Hardly 10 facts. 10 bara fact par loke bohat hai. That's more than enough. I have tried and tested. I don't have to go for the Anglo sections. Then you enter in Age of Chaucer, right? Age of Chaucer, when you enter in Age of Chaucer, my dear friends, Chaucer himself is a poet. But here you have to understand his career. Chaucer wrote in Latin, sorry, Italian. Chaucer wrote in French. Chaucer wrote in English. When he was writing in French, how many of you know that he was using octosyllabic couplet? There will be a simple question. What is octosyllabic couplet? The eight line stanza. 
it was a question paper in the last test paper on my YouTube channel. Check the YouTube channel, the last test paper. I solved the paper in the classroom, offline batch. Check, there's clearly mentioned octosyllabic style. Octosyllabic couplet in French. Then when he went for the Italian style, the hexameter style, decasyllabic style, and when he went for the English, rhyme royal, heroic couplet. Read Chaucer, then the contemporary poets. We have Langland, we have Gower. In short, in every literary age, you have to focus on poets and poetries. Last net exam, they asked the question from the poetries written by Thomas Hardy. Do you know Thomas Hardy is a novelist, a great novelist. Thomas Hardy with his wife and mother-in-law, he went to America, USA. So when he was at the port, he came to the deck of the ship and saw thousands of people waving the hand at him. He got confused. He went to the captain. Hello, sir. Why these people are doing hello? Is there any political person traveling with us? political person Captain said, no, sir. They have come for you, sir. They are your fan. Thomas Hardy was the greatest novelist. But what did they ask in exam? Poetry. So in every age, you have to go for the poets and poetry, you have to check all the poetry. This time they surprised us. Normally they ask questions from novel. This time they ask from poetry. So it's a clear message that you should remember the poetry. Because after Chaucer, in dark age, we have only few poetry, counted poetry, technically no poetry. But then you enter in Elizabethan. So when you go for Elizabethan, read Shakespeare, read his sonnets. Not all, only four sonnets are important. <clears throat> if somebody is telling you to read a lot of sonnets, that's a clear mistake. Literature is unlimited. You cannot fill your mind with burdens. Only four sonnets are important, right? Then, like one of them is, let me not the marriage of true mind. Then, shell of, shall I compare the seven ages of man? These kind of things are there. Then, in Shakespeare, he has written long poetry, Venus and Adonis. What is the theme behind? Then, what is the connection with Ovid's metamorphosis? Rape of Lucrezia, written in Rhyme Royal, what is the connection with that? Then the complaint, lover's complaint, then the other works, you know, the phoenix and the turtle. You have to read and connect multiple, th multiple things. Now, remember this point. Once you are done with Shakespearean poetry and long poetries, you have to go for the contemporary. Marlowe was a poet and a dramatist. Chapman was a poet and a dramatist. So make sure you check their poetries. All these poetries are important. Edmund Spencer, what is epithalamian, what is prothalamian, how many sonnets are there in Amority, Philip Sidney, Astrophel and Stella, how many sonnets are there, how many songs are there, that is a question of net exam. And then Samuel Daniel, Michael Drayton, all these poets, list banani hai aapko. So I hope you understood. Aise hi restoration mein karna hai, poets, Dryden, Heroic Couplet, Mac Flecknow, N.S. Mirabilis, then you go for Augustine's Alexander Pope, Rape of the Lock. That's a great mock heroic style poetry. Then Epistle to Dr. Arbuthnot, one of my favorite. Sare karne. Then you go for pre-romantics. When you enter in pre-romantics, 90% student make a mistake. They don't read James Thompson. James Thompson, Famous Work Seasons, published in 1930 with four books. The question in exam was four books. Books are dealing with winter, summer, spring, autumn set them in order. So remember, the simple funda is WSSA. Winter, just opposite summer. WS, winter, just opposite summer. Then spring, then autumn. WSSA. That was the right answer. So Deepa has written the right answer. Very good, Deepa. Proud of you. Now, just like this, the many other writers, Samuel Johnson, experimenting in blank verse. Samuel Johnson was Augustan kind of writer, but experimented with blank verse. William Cooper, what is mysticism? What is symbolism in William Blake? You have to go for all the poets just like this. Then you go for romantics, Wordsworth, Coleridge, Keats. Do you know in which poetry of John Keats that we have the concept of bald Medusa? Medusa, the girl who her, her hair were like snakes. All her hair were snakes, serpents. Because of a curse, her hair got converted into serpents. In which poetry we have the concept of bald Medusa from John Keats. What do you mean by sensuousness, sensuous poetry? 
why he has been called the most Hellenic poet. In Wordsworth's poetry, which poetry was written for Wordsworth's own daughter? Do you know Wordsworth got married in France with Annette Vallon and left his daughter Caroline? He went to meet Caroline after many years and as a father, he met his daughter for the first time. Holding her hand, he was having a walk around the beach and there he went for a beautiful poetry. This kind of question can be asked. From Coleridge, they ask questions from Christabel and they will say how many symbols are there. So, I hope you have understood. For poetry section, you have to read like this. History of poetry, types of poetry and then in every age, all the important poets, all the important poetries, opening lines, last lines. I met a traveler from an antique land. This has been asked in exam. <clears throat> Verses supposed to be written by Alexander Selkirk. There is, a, there is a beautiful line. It's written by William Cooper. What does he say? He says, I am the monarch of all I survey. My claim here is none to dispute. These kind of poetic lines. In Wordsworth's famous work, Rainbow, there's a line, child is the father of man. Shelley says, hail to the blood spirit. These kind of opening lines. John Keats has written multiple beautiful lines. Beauty is truth. Truth is beauty. That's all we know and all we, should, all we need to know. Our thing of beauty, joy, joy forever. Heard melodies are sweet. Those unheard are sweeter. Or from heroic couplets. Resolve to win. He meditates the way. By force to ravish. By fraud to betray. Belinda smiled and all the world was gay. Hungry judges soon the sentence may sign. When summoned by the wives or by the concubine. Just like I have prepared these things. I remember the important quotations. I... Uh, you know, Robert Browning, my all-time favorite. Right now in offline classes, today I completed Matthew Arnold. We are finishing their syllabus fastest so that I can prepare them with the paper solutions. We are almost done with British history and we have, you know, approached uh, two and a half months for exam. Today I was dealing with Matthew Arnold. Truth sits on the lips of dying man. Yesterday I taught them Robert Browning. We were dealing with Robert Browning. Grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. My moon, my everybody's moon, everyone looks at her and calls his. Fail I alone in the words and deeds, all men strive but who succeed. So I have, this is how you have to go for poetry. Proper, you know, you have to focus on poetry, the styles, the types, what is free verse, what is nonsense verse. Today we talked about nonsense verse, you know why? Because I was teaching Victorians. Edward Lear has written a famous work, Bingo, a Shakespearean criticism. Edward Lear has also written nonsense poetry. Technically, he's the father of nonsense poetry. So today in my class, I taught Edward Lear, nonsense poetry. Then two examples, which are asked from exams. Jabberwocky and Hunting of the Snark. Two nonsense poetry. If you never knew what is nonsense poetry, if you don't know what is nonsense poetry, simple. Nonsense poetry is a poetry which doesn't have a sense. Really? What is nonsense poetry? A poetry just has sense nahi hai. But what kind of sense? 444 students are watching it live. Likes hair sirf 285. Come on my friends, come on. Fastest, within a second, go for likes. Because I'm going to tell you something very important. You did not know what is nonsense poetry? Within two minutes, you will always know what is nonsense poetry. So let's go for the likes and see. Nonsense poetry ka matlab ye nahi hota. It does not mean that, okay, if it is not making sense, it is nonsense. No. What if I am reading a poetry? Suppose I am reading a poetry and I said, this is not making sense. It is nonsense. No, it can have sense for others. In literature, when we study literary theory, we know that thing. That even the meaninglessness has meaning. Every meaninglessness has a meaning of its own. Then what kind of nonsense poetry? Then how will we understand? So please remember the point. A poetry which is formed or created using the words which do not have social contextual meaning. In Hindi, aise shabdo ka connection ya collection with rhymings and all jisme koi meaning now. There is no meaning of the words. It means you cannot even get the meaning. Even if you try to get the meaning, you cannot get. Now, let's make it easy. <clears throat> How many of you have played this game with your sisters or when you were young? So, 
यू वुड प्ले लाइक दिस आओ मिलो सुपर सेलो कच्चा धागा रेस लगा लो दस पत्ते तोड़े एक पत्ता कच्चा हिरन का बच्चा हिरन गया पानी में उसको पकड़ा नानी ने नानी गई लंदन दो लाए कंगन कंगन गए ठूट आगे मुझे याद है आगे आगे आई मिस डेट सो टेल मी व्हाट इज द सोशल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सॉन्ग अक्कड़ बक्कड़ बम्बे बो अस्सी नब्बे पूरे सौ सौ में लगा धागा चोर निकल के भागा वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट मामा गए दिल्ली दो लाए बिल्ली शक्ल लगा बूम बूम आबरा का डाबरा ओ ग्लिक 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 सो दीज काइंड ऑफ वर्ड्स अरेन्ज टूगेदर टू हैव द मेजिकल स्पेल अ सराउंडिंग लाइक दैट जितने स्टूडेंट्स को पसंद आया है दिस इज विनीत पांडे स्टाइल like the video for this thing only because i simply believe that make the students understand i guarantee you you will never forget nonsense words aaj ke baad kabhi nonsense words nahi bhuloge so the arrangements of the words where the words do not have meaning akkad bakkad what is the meaning of akkad bakkad bombe bo no meaning right so nani ko manayenge ras malai khayenge You know, I played this thing at Burj Khalifa. My sister was with me. That was my dream to take my parents to a uh, foreign trip. As a student uh, coming from the lower middle background, I had a dream to take my uh, family members. मुझे बड़ा मन था कि मैं मेरे पापा मम्मी को एक बार विदेश दिखाऊंगा. तो we were at Burj Khalifa. My sister was there, and me and my sister we were playing this. Aao milo super cello at Burj Khalifa. We did that. Come on, guys! Waiting for more likes. Your likes are claps, actually. I feel good. I have get the energy because in this camera I can see my screen. तो फिर लगता है कि हाँ कुछ अच्छा हो रहा है. Come on, guys! 450 students watching it and 346 likes. Need more likes? Motivate me. एक artist के लिए claps से अच्छा कुछ नहीं होता. There is nothing better than the claps. So let's go for it. So. गौरव सेज में हम अभी भी ये करते हैं जस्ट अमेजिंग नाउ आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट पोइट्री द सेकंड थिंग ब्रिटिश ड्रामा ब्रिटिश ड्रामा सेकंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट ड्रामा अगेन राइट डाउन दिस पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू गो फॉर हिस्ट्री ऑफ ड्रामा हिस्ट्री ऑफ ड्रामा मीन्स हाउ ड्रामा स्टार्टेड सो देर वॉज समथिंग लाइक दिस बिकॉज यू नो अर्लियर इन इंडिया ऑल्सो इट वॉज कॉल्ड रंगमंच नौटंकी or uh, what are the other words what are the other words in your state for drama rangmanch notanki or something like this what is that rangmanch notanki then tamasha jatra bhavai so these kind of things were there go for the historical uh, understanding of drama the first ever drama the ancient kind of drama divided in two parts the uh, religious dramas and the medieval dramas right religious drama again divided in miracle play mystery play then you have to go for morality play then you have to go for the interludes then artistic drama university wits then drama with shakespeare and here students make a mistake they go for history of drama and they deal with shakespeare but after shakespeare the drama gets ignored and that's what people make a mistake you must go for the drama after shakespeare there were many dramatists they were still trying to write like most of the people they don't read colley sibber they don't go for john lelo they don't try to read susanna st liver hanna more and others so what you have to do just like poetry the history of drama how it started then comes types of drama what is closed drama what is absurd style drama what is one act play what is three act play what is five act play and all in all these dramas what is problem play what is domestic tragedy which one is the first domestic tragedy which one is the first problem play do you know shakespeare's measure for measure is a problem play do you know thomas orphans <coughs> so thomas otway's orphan published in 1680 is a domestic tragedy so you have to go for this thing first blank verse tragedy first comedy gorbada but the blank verse tragedy then the first comedy then kitchen sink drama then there are multiple dramas which have the existential connections so you have to go for the complete narrations of the drama then go for the dramatist 
So luckily you will not have a lot of drama test because the main drama will start from university events. So here you don't have to read a lot. Main drama will start with university events. Online batch I keep telling them, remember their names, seven authors. One Christopher Marlowe, three Thomas. Thomas Kett, Thomas Lodge, Thomas Nash, three colors. Robert Greene, John Lilly, George Bailey. So we have seven authors, but then some, some hack questions, tricky questions. Out of all these seven university vets, one did not go to the university. Come on, my online students, this is a question for you. In these seven university vets, the one who did not go to the university, who did not belong to the university, the answer started. Yes, Thomas Kidd. And why so? If you remember in a funny way, I told you because he was a kid. No, he was not a kid. It is his surname. But just to remember, you call him Kidd. Kid never went to any university. He did not belong to any university. Another question for online students. Come on. What is the another name used for university vets? What is the another name used for university vets? Come on. Waiting for the right answer. And here we go. Palakshi. Palakshi, you always rock. Prerna Joshi. Qualified net. Qualified Rajasthan set. And still... Thirsty for literature, knowledge. God bless you all. Oxbridge is the right answer. Bohat badia, bohat badia. So, now you know the history, university words, then go for Shakespeare and with Shakespeare. First time you will get to know about romantic tragedy, tragic comedy, historical tragedy and chronological plays. Chronological plays or chronicle plays, these come with Shakespeare. But once you are done with Shakespeare, people make a mistake. They don't read Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson was dealing with comedy of humors. So black bile, yellow bile, color, these kind of things were there. So make sure you know Ben Johnson, then Chapman, Marston, Messinger, Ford, then Giles Fletcher, Francis Bruman, John Hayward, Middleton. The writers that I just told, watch the video again, okay? These writers are more important because everybody reads Shakespeare. So net paper setter, they also know that everybody reads Shakespeare. They will go for the questions for Marston, Decker, Middleton, Massinger, Giles, uh, Fletcher, and Beaumont, and the others, Thomas Hayward. You will go with these things. Once you're done with this, we enter in restoration. Do we have dramas in restoration? Do we have any dramatist in restoration? Yes. Here we have comedy of manners. So you have to understand what is comedy of manners, what was comedy of humors, what is the difference, and in comedy of manners, how many writers are there? Who is Vicharly? Who is Congreve? Who is Athrase? What is double meaning conversation? What is China scene? What is the role of the Queen Marguerite, the Princess Marguerite? Then, along with these things, Van Brew is very important. Van Brew, Congreve, then Vicharly, then Athrase, then Dryden. These people are very, very important in restoration comedy of manners. It's very important. Then Dryden also has written heroic tragedies in drama form. Antony and Cleopatra. Shakespeare's Antony Cleopatra inspired Dryden to write all for love. So this is like this. You have to go for drama. When you go for Augustans, luckily there are no dramatists. Luckily there are no dramatists. So Augustans, you can have a escape. You can leave it. When you go for pre-romantics, again, there are some dramatists, but not good, like Collie Sibber. Collie Sibber is there. Sentimental comedies are there. So there are some dramatists, but not good. So here you have to know who is Henry McKenzie, who is Collie Sibber, or if the famous writers like the uh, Edison and Steele, if they tried to write drama, what were those dramas? Like Tender Husband, Conscious Lover, Lying Lover. Ye sab hai. When you enter in romantics, 90% students don't know this thing that Wordsworth also tried to write a drama. He wrote a famous work, Border, which is a drama, though it was a failed one. Coleridge tried to write a drama, a failed one. Keats, Keats tried to write a drama, a failed one. Then Charles Lamb tried to write a drama, the John Woodwill, uh, name of the work in John Woodwill, a failed one. In Romantics, we have dramatists, but the dramas were repeatedly failing. Then you go to Victorians. There also, we have no dramatists. Tennyson tried to write drama. Herald, Cup, Queen, Mary, Falcon, Beckett. These are the dramas. All failed. Dryden, write, uh, Robert Browning tried to write drama. Strafford failed. 
so in victorians also we have some dramatists they tried to write but all failed some of them they were experimenting oscar wilde writing drama writing novel some were successful so make sure you remember that that after restoration till victorians we hardly have dramatists this unit is easy but then you enter in moderns wb eats a famous poet was a dramatist countess kathleen one of the famous work w h auden the sea of and the mirror based on tempest a drama t s eliot murder in cathedral dramatist they are famous dramatists so make sure you remember this point that in drama also you have to go for modern drama adrian kennedy i can bet 99% students the name nahi sunoga except online adrian kennedy one act play that is the part of delhi university has been asked in net for two times so what is one act play what is kitchen sink drama what do you mean by kitchen sink drama then the drama is dealing with post world war conditions here in moderns and post moderns you have to go for that you have to go for using inesco very very important harold pinto very important samuel beckett arthur adamo these kind of writers edward elby now we are done with the drama thing history types and the writers right next one we have is <clears throat> fiction and short stories i know the video is getting long but i can guarantee you you will not need to watch anything else just revise and prepare accordingly that i'm telling you fiction and short stories so my dear friends smartly they have added short stories fiction and short story fiction what is fiction fiction is novel so we have to go for history of novel now i ask you a simple question and uh, a request all the online students please don't answer okay you don't have to answer only new student should answer which one is which one can be called the first novel you can give any options which book can be called the first novel which one can be called the first novel rimi says pamela rimi banerji you are online student i said don't answer well you have answered fine rimi is already a scholar bhu <laughs> ah there is also the online batch you everybody is answering now okay leave it but can, okay but can you say that pamela is the only novel no it's not the first novel it is said to be the first novel but whenever you talk about the first ever novel my dear friends troilus and cresseid by chaucer in italian this is called the grandfather of english novel chaucer has been called the grandfather of english novel see you made the mistake sabia has written the right answer troilus and cresseid because you know normally everybody goes for pamela so pamela is not a wrong answer pamela is the right answer but what if the question is smart and in the smart question they say that which book from ancient literature can be called the first novel so there you must know the history troilus and cresseid is believed to be the first novel then john bunyan's life and death of mr badman is believed to be the first modern novel then the uh, university of wit thomas nash life of jack wilton the unfortunate traveler is also called the first picris novel then daniel defoe robinson crusoe another picris novel pamela is the first epistolary novel then we have joseph andrews and tom jones they are also the novels henry fielding has been called the father of novels john bunyan was called father of english novels by rudyard kipling so there is a great debate even pilgrim's progress by bunyan has the tendency of a novel so you must read the complete history of novels there also you must go for short stories who is the first ever author to write fables who has written the first ever short story collection fables come on online students waiting for the right answer fables the first ever writer of short stories aesop monali perfect monali bahut badhiya aesop's fables so aesop's fables are the first ever short story collections but after that also we have short stories so you have to go for the history of the novel history of the short story we are the english literature student but we are from india i have a question which story is called the first ever story in hindi हिंदी की सबसे पहली स्टोरी कौन सी मानी जाती है विच स्टोरी इज कॉल्ड द फर्स्ट स्टोरी इन हिंदी 
in hindi not panchatantra no no not panchatantra panchatantra is very much close fine i'll give you the answer rani ketki ki kahani rani ketki ki kahani is believed to be the first ever story so just like that in english the first story then what is the difference between a story and a novel see uh, the shortest form story then novelate novella novel so the short story then bigger than short story novelate then bigger than novelate novella novella bigger than this novel do you have any questions like this that show is there anything shortest than short story short story se bhi chhota kuch hai kya 424 likes 457 students are live 25 likes aur chahiye to chalo batata hu let's go for the knowledge flash fiction f l a s h flash fiction is the shortest form of fiction sabse chote fiction ko flash fiction kaha jata hai it can be of 40 words 40 shabd 3 lines max 4 lines come on guys let's go for likes if you if you didn't know that and you love knowledge if you respect knowledge so flash fiction then short story then novelate then novella and novel do you know joseph conrad has written novellas conrad's all great works are like novellas haiku is a japanese poetry no palakshi haiku is a 17 syllable japanese poetry so you have to go for the details then you have to go for like all the novelists so you have to check all the famous novels dickens is very famous mary shelley from frankenstein now i'm going to tell you a very important fact ready for the fact from the novels you would love it in fact you can take the screen recording of this particular thing mary shelley the wife of pb shelley she wrote frankenstein right one of her famous work is the last man the last man was a novel dealing with 21st century which gets completely destroyed by a virus an epidemic when corona got spreaded this book became viral i shared it with my students also there is one writer mary shelley she wrote it 200 300 years back in her 18th century that in 21st century there will be an epidemic and humanity will be destroyed so people were finding connections that what if mary shelley knew that we will have covid kya mary shelley ko pata tha that we will have covid last man so these kind of stories you have to read then all the novels dickens hardy then bronte sisters then george eliot anthony trollope and along with these things you have to go for the romantic novelist walter scott is father of historical say remy banerjee saying yes sir you send this fact in online group that is my duty nitesh we have upsc batches yes tomorrow we have the exam upsc mains i'm guiding three of my students for mains no not mary shelley is not haunting us luckily mary shelley is not haunting us so i have i believe you must have understood that how you have to read the poetry portion then the drama portion then the fiction portion and you have to go for modern novels in modern novels it's all about character study so when you go for modern novels don't forget mrs dalloway is very important james joyce ulysses is very important you have to go for the lighthouse and when you read these novels we have one more person henry james his books are just amazing and are actually one of the best part of literature so virginia wolf james joyce then henry james then joseph conrad then d h lawrence the first person to read the idea of sexuality in family life i wish i could teach you all bahut zyada energy lag rahi hai 44 minutes ho gaye in online class actually i have to speak constantly in offline class when students talk i take rest when they talk when they answer i take rest here i have to speak constantly right so uh, we are stopping with three units it's 44 minutes but as per my promise in next live class i will start with fourth unit and i will go for three to four units more right please subscribe the channel so that you get the link of the next live class and all the students who want to join the online classes did you see this thing when i talked about everything i did not look at my notes or something like this or screens it's all here it's all here i'm always busy in this thing so if you want to have net and jrf like me i'm two times net sorry two times jrf 
10 times net. Did you watch my 10th video, 10th net video? This is what how I prepare. This is what how I read. So to join the online classes, you can drop me a WhatsApp. Double eight one zero two eight nine six three seven. We have started a batch which is going to close soon. You can be the part of the base, this batch. It was really started. Next live class, it is a guarantee I will come live. We will discuss chapter four, five, and I will try to sum up more. I will finish with the complete syllabus here also. So all the students who are in need, yes, we have batches for paper one. We have batches for UPSC English. We have offline batches. You can also go for these kind of notes material. You can also order kar sakte ho. This will be the part of correspondence course. But for those things, WhatsApp me on double eight one zero two eight nine six three seven. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.